Hi, my name is Bevo, and I'm back to show you how I get energy from eating food. We ended our last video with PDC breaking down pyruvate into acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA goes into the TCA cycle. Carbon dioxide is released into the cell. NADH and FADH2, which are electron carriers from our peer previous video, take electrons from the TCA cycle and move them to the electron transport chain. Here is the electron transport chain. There are four complexes in the inner membrane of the mitochondria that take energy from electrons to pump protons across the mitochondrial inner membrane. The last and fifth complex is ATP synthase, which is located in the mitochondrial inner membrane. This is ATP synthase equations. We're going to make this easier to understand. ATP synthase is made up of many parts. Two of the most important are the F0 and the F1 domain. The first domain we're going to look at is F0. F0 causes rotation of F1. It also has the C10 ring, which is a proton acceptor and donor that is responsible for pumping protons across the membrane. The second domain we will discuss is F1. F1 has a rotational motor mechanism that helps it make ATP. There are three subunits that allow ATP to be bound and released. ADP and phosphate bind in one unit, which causes ATP to be formed. When this ATP is made, an ATP in another unit is released so you can get energy. Oh, oh no! When this system stops working, you and your body get very sick. There are some mutations that cause ATP synthase to stop working. You no longer can complete this process to make ATP. This means you have less energy to cheer Bevo on at the game. You also have a loss of ability to move and think. That means you can play basketball, dance, or run with your friends. Bevo needs ATP synthase to represent our school at the games. Stay tuned to see Bevo's further metabolic journey on his way to victory.